How do we make the right decisions? Managers are well known for using their entrepreneurial gut feeling as the basis for good decisions. But intuition does not always give the right advice because feelings can deceive. Critically reviewing intuitive decisions is the task of controllers. They therefore support managers with analytics and facts. However, basing decisions solely on facts and figures is not always enough either. It is often necessary to know when to question those facts and figures. Hmm. Intuition and analytics should therefore be balanced equally when a decision has to be made. If, however, intuition and analytics lead to different results, then you have to be careful. For example, if a manager believes in a new product, even if the available numbers do not actually promise success, then it is the controller's job to look for additional information and new arguments which could support the manager's sixth sense. If he doesn't find the information, then there is need for even greater caution. Caution is also required if the available numbers speak clearly in favour of a certain action, but the controller still has a bad feeling. For example, if the controller suspects that the underlying assumptions are too optimistic. Analytics and intuition are two solution strategies which approach problems in different ways. For controllers and managers, it is essential to take both perspectives into account. Any action which might be rejected by both analytics and intuition should not be carried out. Any action where the manager's good feeling matches the controller's good numbers should be carried out, as in this case, success is very likely.